Sydney, Australia, the supreme Australian athlete, an entertainment package that is complete, the quickest hands you've ever seen, Anthony Mundy. Box you both in the changing room, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Shake hands, best of to both. Shake hands! And so finally, they meet face to face. We have never experienced fighter introductions quite like what we've witnessed in the last 15 minutes. After six years of unrelenting hype, it's here. Barry Michael, you're... Uh, it's going to be very different. That's what the Danny tried to do straight away. Settle back and enjoy it. Take time. He needs to be aggressive, but smartly aggressive. Yeah, and he needs to attack that body, which is what he's doing early. And Anthony Mundy. Oh, and Terry O'Connor really tested early. Yep. Time back. Time back. Come here. Here. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Oh, he can't do this. Can he? Oh, what a start. We were expecting a grudge match, and that <laughs> was exactly the way it has begun. Danny Green, the aggressor early, Mundine on the back foot. Green, after working the body on the opening flurry, has Mundine bobbing again. Danny Green, hands held high. Landed a good stick jab a second ago. Look, looking for openings. Anthony Mundine, fainting, moving. Green, Miss Green, grabs it in a headlock there. The referee won't like that. The tagline was the green power versus the mundane speed. Minute has gone by in the first we're scheduled for 12. Green popping that jab out. Mundine again on the back foot. He's quick with the jab as well. Green trying the uppercut. Now Mundine responding. Nice little right hand by Anthony Mundine there. That's going to be the great the punch that Danny Green's got to watch. Good jab to the body from Mundine. Danny Green looking for an opening here. Both boys, I would think, Kosh, at this stage, aren't really warm. They, you know, like it's very cool yeah, up here. Yeah, I'm agree. Uh... Oh, it's rough. Oh, it's rough. They still, uh, it's nerves around the ring, and uh, I think it's going to be slowed down in the next couple of rounds. It is cool. There's a slight breeze, and they have been waiting a while. The undercut went a long way. There's a leg from Green. Yeah. That's Mundine on the back of the year. I think Danny connected very well. There's a left hook. He's clearly been the aggressor through the opening two minutes of the first round. And again, working with a jab. Mundine forced into a crouch on the ropes. Stiff jab. It's a green round so far. Again, looking to go with the jab to the body from Danny Green. Stiff jab, too. Stiff jab to the body. Good jab there for Green. Green then into the corner. Green wraps him up. Terry O'Connor comes in to separate them. Green crouching. He's, he's coming down to Mundine's height, which is uh, it's working well for his jab at the moment. Looking for that opening with his stiff jab. Three centimetre different in height as Green tries to get the jab through. Mundine quickly bounces back off the ropes. Closing seconds of the opening round. Green not following up that jab, waiting the bell to end the first. Final 10 seconds. Monday trying to oh. big roundhouse left. Green counters with the short left. Oh, lovely right hand by Monday. And that got good. through the defences. The question will be, was it enough? Yeah. Give him the fire, More left hand, more left hand, mate. Boking, left hand, left hand, more, more left hand, boking. And jab, big right hand, double jab, right hand. Left hook, mate. Make your finger, make your finger. What? You find spots, and I see your finger. I see what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep it up. Just don't let him get ahead of you. What? All right? Roy Jones Sr. and Anthony's father back in the camp after a brief split in the lead up. Costa Zoo marking the first round to Danny Green. It was interesting that Anthony Mundine did land two good, clean right hands in the first round. That's the punch that uh, Danny Green's got to be cautious of. And no lesser judge than Johnny Lewis says you have to respect Mundine's power. 
He said it does not get the credit it deserves. Good jab by Mundine. Very that sharp. He snaps that out as Green looks to go to the body. Terry O'Connor tells him to keep the punches up. careers hang on what happens in this ring over the next 11 rounds it sure does the winner of this this fight goes on to a world title fight the loser who knows better round so far for anthony mundine scoring well making green miss green nearly landed a big right hand there but it missed just oh that that was a cracker that was a real good right for hand by Mundine. Green going to the body, but Mundine blocking him well. Green is working the body a lot. Tony Mundine said one of Anthony's plans oh. to get Danny Green frustrated, soak up his blows in the first four or five rounds, then Danny gets a little bit loose. That was the Mundine team camp plan. And I think Mundine doing a very good job in this round yes. to frustrate Danny. Uh, and something that what Danny shouldn't do to just continue to do what he did in the first round. Look from his jab, that's what he did right now. Yep, his jab worked well and he's landed a couple of good right hands this round, Anthony Mundine. He's got to keep boxing the way he's boxing. Danny, Green, well, Danny Green's fighting the right fight at this stage, though, trying to keep the pressure on him, trying to cut the, cut the corners and, and pin him. It's easier said than done. There weren't many predicting an early finish to this fight. Green lunging there, Mundine missing. Uh, Green missing on that. Mundine yep. counters with the jab well there. And he is sharp with that jab, keeping Danny Green on the back foot, bobbing and weaving. Final minute, round number two. Much more even round this one after Green controlled the tempo early in the first. Now Green bobbing and weaving as Mundine snaps the jab out. Mundine saw that coming, ducked out of the way. They lock up. Oh. Yeah, watch the forearm there, Danny. The referee right on the on the ball here. Yeah. Then he has to work this. No, no. Green, Green stumbling there on the ropes enabled Mundine to slip one in. 20 seconds to go in the second. Mundine's round from all way, gotcha. He should even it up after this, you would think. Down to 10 seconds. Oh, that was good. Good little left hook inside for Mundine. Looking to load up his right hand there. Green pressuring. Oh, tries an uppercut. He tried a big uppercut. uppercut. Yeah. And then the left jab. Court, court. Yeah, I'm agree with you guys. You. Okay. Seconds down. Round three. And we're square according to Kostya Zoo. Denny Green says, in the back of my mind, I have visualized victory quite a few times. Something I didn't do on the rematch with Marcus Bayer. Round three. Both, both boys fully hit, warmed up now. Their bodies are hot. You'll see uh, more fluency from these guys as they warm up. I mean, there's always a chance when a fight is cold they can be caught early, but uh, they're probably beyond that now. Yep. Cat and mouse to start the third is Green. Trying to launch there with the big right hand, but Mundine's evasive skills are much renowned. Change. It was a terrific exchange, and now Green beginning to work Mundine into the oh. corner. Mundine putting his back. Good countering punches by oh. Mundine. Bit of a head clash there. Oh, little head clash. Oh, this is everything we hoped for, isn't it? Yep, this is the fight that the whole country's been waiting for, and it's exciting. Now Mundine trapped in the corner in a clinch. He pushes Green under the ropes, and they break up. Tell you what, he's making Danny miss a lot, and that's going to tell the later in the fight, you'd think. Danny's missing a lot with those big power shots. That was the plan, as I mentioned earlier, from Tony Mundine. Make yep. Danny mad. Mundine with that jab that must be respected. Oh, it's like liking his jab. He's not, uh, I mean, some fighters we see don't see it, but Green's doing a good job. He's been caught with quite a few, but... Oh! That was a beautiful right hand from Monday, but Green fires back with vicious body blows, but that was a cracker of right hand off Green. I was just to say, Green didn't see that coming. He didn't see it. Tell you what, he took it well, though. Yeah, he's a tough boy. And responded. Fired back. Down to a minute remaining in the third. Green working the Monday body. Gee, it looked low. They, they are a bit low.
if it's out the ball of it. Big body punches from Danny Green. Costa, you know about receiving those low blows. Yeah, it's not very pleasant if you go very, very low. I think I can see the Anthony losing up much, much better right now. And, uh, oh. Throwing very nice combination punches. Uh, catching Danny on... Uh, so is, is Danny still a bit tense? Yes, I believe so. When you when they're up close, we're, they're right above us now. You can feel the power of the, oh. the pen, these punches from Danny Green and from Anthony Mundine. And there's his famous quarter. Very getting confident here. That was good. Oh. And Green says, I'll take you all right back. Oh, it's getting rough. It's getting rough. Heading towards the end of the third. This has been another tough round to score. Oh. For my money, it's, it's again a Mundine round. He scored the better shots. I don't know what you think, Kosha. Green put the pressure on, but Mundine, for my money, has landed the He's, cleaner one. He was more... Uh, he connected more punches. Yeah. Good brother, proper punches. And Mundine raises the glove of the air to try and influence. Yeah. I think he's, he's, he's going to have to say something to Danny if he does any more of that. Standing by for the fourth, the Green camp and the Mundine camp edging. Mundine ahead on Kostya Zoo's card as we start the fourth. Danny Green looking very determined as he shakes his head as he comes out for round four. And again, he's really perilously close to the belt there. You know what he's doing, and Sam Solomon told me this, Green is firing a right to the body a lot. Oh. Remember, remember, Solomon sparred with all three men that have beaten Mundine in the lead-up to their fight. There's the knockout ratio between rounds three and six. So Danny Green trying to use that Solomon advantage to his advantage here as Mundine dances around in center ring. Certainly shaping up to be the great fight that we've all been looking for. It's really good at the moment. It's class, it's power. Danny Green attacking relentlessly. Mundine sniping, landing that jab beautifully. Big right hand from Green, blocked down the right through the Take the goal from Mundine. And now Mundine looking to go to the green body. There's a giant green tattoo on his left side, which Danny said hurt far more getting put on than anything I've ever experienced in the boxing ring. Oh, I can imagine having a tattoo there it wouldn't be and, good. And there's not a lot of fat there. Padding, Barry. No, there's none. It'd be just tattooing the bones. <laughs> now, the feeling out process here in the fourth. It's Green snapping the jab out. Mundine getting oh, away. Oh, stiff Green's jab. Trying to follow it up. Stiff jab from Mundine, though. Mundine looking more confident to me. He's taken some... He knows he's felt Green's power. Yep. He's Green. under control. Anthony, I can feel the confidence he's got. I think he's growing up. Uh, oh. Not because Danny doing anything wrong, uh, but he, right now he's just a little bit outboxing Danny. It's what Roy Jones Jr. Uh, Roy Jones Sr. said. He wasn't ready after the Kessler fight. He still wasn't ready, but he's maturing, maturing, maturing. He's at his best right now. As Green again working around the Mundine waistline, heading to a minute to go in the fourth. Tight around. Green throwing the weight, the volume of punches. Mundine, though, with a better strike percentage in terms of those landed. Definitely, you know, when, he's, when he does land, he lands it so far, he's landed the cleaner shots. But Danny Green throwing some leather with serious intentions here. This round, here to be won in the final 30 seconds. Green trying to follow up the jab. There's another couple more body shots. Mundine smiles at him, taunts him. And Green gets even angrier. Oh, he loaded up that right. Oh, Mundine's yeah, good at that skills. skill. Just missed, just missed but I'll tell you what, he rode that beautifully. Oh, oh he comes back with a right hand at Green's jaw. Green has to be so careful with Mundine on the counterattack. Yep. Good round, this, this a great round. Not a lot in this round, I'll tell you. Now, some blood seeming to emanate. Is it from the nose of Danny Green? There's the bell for the four. Good right to the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still early doors, though. Round four. Costa Zoo scoring it to Anthony Mundine, 10 to 9. And he would lead by two. This is number five of 12. Two right hands by Mundine, and again left right, lovely left right. Good jab again. 
He's starting to feel the distance with his right hand. Yes. And because then his hand sometimes get low after the punches. Uh, oh. Clubbing left hook there from the man. You, you can see the yeah. little swelling on the, on the left eye of Denny. In terms of a plan, you have to say it's going the mundane plan way. So, so far, far, yes. But as we know, probably Denny didn't expect it until you stay in front of him and okay. uh, throw the punch. He saw yeah. Oh, big clubbing right hand from Mundine. Green fired back with his own right. And trying to work that jab through as well. And yeah, Mundine standing his ground a lot more. Looking to jab off, counter off Green's jab. Green loading up his left hook there, misses. Yep. Oh, a stiff jab from Mundine. That spray flies off Danny Green's head. Mundine looking for the right hand. I'm telling you, he's looking for that opening for the right hand. Halfway through number five. And there the right, and Danny Ooh. Green evades what would have been a big left. You can hear a reaction from the fans at ringside in the $1,000 seats. They're not holding back with their offerings of advice. Referee Terry O'Connor stamped his authority in the yeah, first round. He, he just certainly won't let these guys get away with anything. He's a very good referee, this man. And a former heavyweight himself. It's a good thing you're not going to be intimidated by a big uh, fan. But many people around, uh, he just come here to do the job. You think Green must be getting frustrated. He's, making, yeah. he's missing with a lot of leather. I think you need to put some another little different plan. Uh, oh, that was a pearler of a right, really good left, right combination. Yeah. Oh, but what a jaw this man's got, Danny Green. He's tough, he's tough. That was a bomb. We know. Right he's on the chin. Very man good who's, one, two. Yeah, he's impossible to put down. Getting towards the end of the fifth round. And it's another Anthony Mundine round. It would appear on One thing Anthony shouldn't do it to make it go on an exchange. Yeah, good round for Monday. Another qualification and a tight majority decision. Well, mate, both, both these fighters, the only fights they've lost are world yeah. title fights. It's 49 46 now on Kostya's card. More right hand was the call from the green corner. And he started well here in number six. Tapping the body and the head. <laughs> Trying to land the big right hand on Anthony Mundine. Average rounds per bout. Mundine, 6.8 green. Well, doesn't get usually taken this far. I think Anthony started a bit, a bit too confident in himself, ability to miss the punches. And it comes to the danger zone where... Yeah, we is. spoke about this earlier in the night, didn't we? You don't want to get too confident. No, that's for sure. As I said, Danny Green, power in both hands. And he's uh, got very heavy punches. And yep, he yep. can damage you. For sure. Anthony Mundine has landed uh, some really cracking right hands. And Danny Green's, you know, he's worn them well. Oh, stiff jab from Mundine. Stiff flight. And looking to follow it up there, although Green had the defences up. <laughs> Neither fighter can afford to lose concentration here. Danny Green missing a lot, lot of times with both hands. Very heavy punches. I think you need to do relax a bit more and go for one, two, or one to three combinations. As you know, Kostya, when you miss, takes it out of you a lot more than when you're oh, landing. Definitely. Mundine snaps the jab out. Green, though, keeping him honest. Yeah, standing in front of Danny Green. <laughs> looking for that opening for the right hand. Left hook, uppercuts. Trying to mix it up there, the man. Final minute of the sixth. And then walks up again, looking for that opening. 
Green trying to land the jab. Mundine lining him up with a body shot. That's something that, you know, Mundine's got in his repertoire now. A good body punches. He lands some good shots himself. And Green trying to get the uppercut in there. Yeah. Half a minute to go on the sixth. Mundine looking confident. Opening up with both hands. Uppercuts. Green lovely. Oh, oh, he's... from Anthony Mundine there. They stun. They stun, no question. Heading towards the halfway mark of this fight. Green again trying to go to the Mundine body. Awaiting the bill. They lock up. That should be enough. It is. He's not making any mistakes. At the moment, no. We've still got, uh, you know, six rounds to go. We're halfway there. It started get a bit... Oh, look at that on slow mo. That was yeah. he wobbled there, Danny Green. Yep. I think he hurt him a couple of times during this round. Yeah, the good stiff good jab, jab. Up there. Danny Green said you can't teach someone heart. As <laughs> Phil Gould hears it from the crowd. <laughs> Green said you can teach someone skill, technique, and to be more powerful, but you can't teach a fighter guts. He says there are probably a lot of very good fighters with more natural ability than myself, but not all have the heart and mongrel to push themselves to the next level to be a champion. He's going to have to come from behind here on Kostya Zoo's card if he's to challenge Mikel Kessler for the WBA Super Middleweight World Championship. This is round number seven. Still, we can remember the Otki fight when uh, I think Anthony was winning the yes. fight. Yep, went down and, in the 10th. Uh, and began yep. in the 10th, yeah. He was, but I believe Kostya, it's a different... Well, it's a different fighter, a different yes. man and different circumstances. I think he was a bit intimidated there in Germany with the pressure on him and the referee was definitely... Not experienced. Yeah, not experienced. Yeah. 10 fights. And, you know, it's Van Otki. We're talking one of the greats. What a right hand from Mundine. Green soaking him up. Oh, Danny Green slips on the canvas there. There was some concern that there could be some dew, although there's just a mountain of sweat tumbling off these two fighters, and I think Terry O'Connor is calling for the town now, yes. Oh, what's happening here? That's crazy. I don't think it can be that bad, surely. A moment treat respite oh. from this war that is unfolding. But it's a war that Mundine's camp would be feeling very good about right now, although Green oh. trying to spot him. Green going, Mundine firing back, Mundine's equal to it, to everything Green's throwing at the moment. Very tight defence Mundine crouches into. And Green's struggling to get those heavy blows through. Fast hands from Mundine, that jab. Both boys having a word to each other every now and then, yeah. now and then in there. You can see the, oh, you can see the frustration oh, in his the face. face. Mundane pushed through the ropes. And he's got a smile on his face at the end of it. It gets the crowd further involved. Danny Green going to try and jump on him. Oh, Mundine back. Green quickly bouncing out of the way. You almost sense he knows that he's got to come up with something extra here. Again, a little bit of a slip as he tried to go through with that jab. A minute to go, number seven. Danny going viciously to the body with that right rip, but Mundine in superb condition has taken the body shot well so far. He continue controlling the fight. There's that jab. The pace. This. Danny missing with the right hand again. He's got to be taking it out of him. And Mundine dancing away back. Him up. Missing with the big right hand. What Tony Mundine said is happening. Danny Green's getting mad. Danny Green's throwing everything he can at Mundine and missing with 95% of the stuff he's throwing. At this stage, and he slipped again. He can keep punch himself out. Yes. Yeah. That's what's happened with a couple of times already. And, uh, Ooh, another one to Mundine on my score. Good night. 
Again, Danny Green with a flurry of punches, but it's the scoring blows that have been going Mundine's oh, way, and there was that uppercut. uppercut that got there. Perfect shot. Tie, incredible. Probably it's a good idea for Danny uh, to put even more pressure. I don't uh, know if he can do it, Kostya. I mean, he's putting a lot of need, pressure he, on him. He needs to change the tactic. Well, Not only be uh, doing one, three, maybe four, five. Just uh, fast. Maybe only one punch is for heavy. We know Mikkel Kessler is lying in wait for the winner. Kessler's manager questioned Danny Green's stamina after five rounds. Do you question it, Barry? No, I don't question his stamina. I can't understand that because Danny Green's, you know, I mean, you look at his fight with Bayer, the second fight, even after there was after the Sean Sullivan thing, which we won't yeah. take into consideration because it was incredibly hard. Oh, oh. He caught him very hard on the one-two combination. I think his legs might have buckled there or he might have off balance. But, you know, he showed that in the 12th and final round he was still deadly against Bayer. Oh, yeah, of course. Then he's got power. Got big power. Boxing very well, very confidently. We said against Kessler it was his most polished performance, even in defeat. This has been every bit that. Now he's boxed beautifully so far. He's fighting a percentage fight, he's making Danny miss, and when he wants to, he lands enough scoring punches to win the rounds. He's landed some beautiful, clean right hands. This stage, Danny's taken most of them well, but the longer it goes and the more Danny Green misses. Oh, big right hand. Green says no, but that looked, that looked hard. Green fires back with both hands. Going to the body. Oh. Oh. responding and Green going back oh. at him. He's heating up now. Oh, Danny Green this walks through a lot of punishment here. And he's fighting very, very smartly, standing. Don't go from him, just come close in the distance and make Danny come on him and uh, fight. Have a listen to the mouth. Wow. And Ooh. the right getting through. Mundine landing, big shot this round. Green there, talking it up a bit, or a bit say, come on. A low blow there and a... Mundine on the back foot on the right. Green trying to work the body. Now to the chin of Mundine who leans out of it. Tapped him with the right hand on the chin, Mundine. He tapped Green. Green tapped him on the chin with the right hand. I mean, firing back here. Look, oh, there's that right hand again. Vicious right hand from Mundine. Green with a chin of iron. He keeps coming forward. Danny Green, the ultimate warrior, walking forward. Must be getting frustrated. Missing with a lot of leather. Just missed with a left hook. Final stages of round number eight. Remember, we are scheduled for 12. And after Mundine may have spotted Green the first round, he's been on top ever since. Yep. And you fancy that trend might continue. He's uh, catching him a few times with a very good combination. Yes. He can even put more pressure. You know, then he can kick. He can get he, uh, get knocked down himself. For Denny, it's going to be a really different story. He Does he to... have to get more desperate here with only four rounds to go? It, it, it is. It's only it's the championship round. He needs to do something. He needs to do something. He needs to do more aggressive right now. Yeah, no, Anthony Mundine landing, landing clean shots there. Denny successful with some of them, but, uh, but so far I haven't really seen Trump perturbed by any of Danny's shots and he's made him miss with most of them but uh, in boxing you're always one punch away from disaster that's a good point Red lever because less than four rounds to go and if there's one man that we know has that one punch a recipe for disaster it's Danny Green oh, and he's standing right here very oh my and then my back. Back. he responds in oh kind. he responds well there he got caught himself and fired back and again the spray flies off Danny Green's head. Mundine pushes him away. Physical strength from Mundine there. That moment must have been demoralising for Green, the way Mundine responded so well. But he's got to keep coming forward. He's got to set the tone. He's running out of time. Working the body there in a couple of 
both shots. Viciously attacking the body, Danny Green. It's probably the, it's the way to fight Anthony Mundine, but it's easier said than done when I met with a man. All the punches are so predictable. Yes. Even they're very fast and slashy, but they're very predictable. Anthony, you know what they're going to hit, get hit from. Green into a tight defensive stance. As Mundine what just unloads the punches on him. Yeah, oh, Green looked very yep. slow there with that counter. Didn't he? He, Koshri, he looked slow with that counter. And Terry O'Connor does provide the warning there. Danny Green, good sportsmanship there from the Green Machine. He admitted that it was probably a little bit low and he, he uh, sh you know, slapped hands with, with Chock. There'll be respect between these guys at the end of this, I'm, I am sure. I'll be surprised if there's not. Oh, vicious right vicious round the back the from Green. Down to a minute to go in the ninth. Green loading up, looking loader, big bombs, Danny Mundine flinch, right, takes the right hand off his shoulder, beautifully deflected by his shoulder, fires back. Onto the left and here, Green, tell you what, I can see a bit of a pattern change here, Danny Green looking a bit slower this fight. This yeah, and that landed, then there was a slip. It was a slip. He, it was a slip, but he's been hit with a lot of big shots this round. Blood coming from Green's nose. Half a minute from the end of the night, oh, Green again, yeah. those big shots to the Mundine body. Because the left side of the body is not really effective, you don't have a liver there. Uh, it's mean all the punches, it's, it, it can give you a little damage, but it's con it won't give you a really huge damage. If, you, if you're going to be the left body, to, it's a different story. You put him again. Final stages of number nine. Doing a bit of his Roy Jones stuff there. He makes his way to the sit down. Some of the action from number nine. <laughs> Green looking, Mundine looking very confident here. Attacking relentlessly. Green covering up. Probably the longest he'd stayed in his own shell. And his left hook was slow coming off the, off the ropes there. See Stadium in Anthony Mundine ahead of Danny Green on Kostya Zoo's card. You're watching main event boxing through Foxtel, Ulster, Fox Sports Pubs and Clubs around New Zealand on TV3. Let's listen in. Seconds down, round 10. Three rounds to go. Just whispering in his ear there. As the folks in the background stand up, there's some action elsewhere in the stadium here it is a combustible atmosphere it's fair to say now the focus back on centering for the start of number 10. lying in wait Mikel Kessler the unbeaten Dane and a shot at the WBA super middleweight championship Danny missing again with his right hand looking Mundine deflecting his punches goes in against the ropes covers up green going underneath to the body stiff jab oh was flush on the chin. Danny Green's chin of iron. Danny just took it. Your great sports, says Terry O'Connor, a former heavyweight fighter from Birmingham, England. That's Mundine with the speed. And Green's slipping again. Yeah, it was a slip. It was a slip. But he was a lot of cut from Mundine. Looking. Green really. Quick shots. Green trying to fight his way back. He's behind on the card. He'd know that. He knows he's behind. He's missed with a lot of punches. Surely it must be taking it out of him. It's round 10. He's vicious, oh, viciously hitting Mundine in the hip. He's trying to find that one shot. Does he have it left? Mundine looking to load up here. Mundine taking chances. He's Doesn't looking to get... load it up. He's looking for that right hand. Danny Green looking tired to me. He just wouldn't want to get careless. Looks very tired. Lunges with his jab. Oh, Ooh. crashing right hand off Green's chin. Ooh. Ooh. You felt this that question. Most dangerous of punches you can get. Right on the road. It's the, it's the timing. It's the timing. And the timing is absolutely perfection tonight for Anthony oh. Green so far. The 
the wall erupts here in number 10. But does Green have any more petrol in the tank? I don't think he's got a great deal left, to be honest. I could be wrong. I mean, he's still punching hard to the body, but his headshots seem to be a bit slower to me. What do you think, Kosha? First of all, when this happened, the referee didn't say anything. I mean, you have to protect yourself all the time. And that's what uh, Anthony did. Yes, true. Uh, Mundine growing in confidence. Green yes. needs a big punch if he's going to get back yeah. in this fight because he's been clearly outsmarted here by the man. Just two rounds Ooh. remain. You're losing a little bit. Will he ever get back to this stage in his career again? He has two rounds to keep his dream alive. Round 11. Oh. Cracking right. Another win. Oh, oh, oh. with the uppercut there and followed up with a left jab to the chin of Green. Oh, hitting Green with big punches. Unloading on Green here. This is called championship rounds. Yeah. Yep. They were in the championship rounds, all right. And Anthony Mundine absolutely picking Green apart at this stage. And one thing it, it's showing me that he's not picking up. He's not going backwards. No. You just stand in front of him and the standing on the ground. You want to hit more. me? Hit me. I'm, I'm prepared for this. Yeah. Danny Green has to be very tired. The amount of punches that he's missed. Oh, has he hurt his ankle? Well, that would be the only concern for Hundine right there. Very slippery at centering. Timeout has been called. Must be very slippery there. Both guys slipping all over the place. Physically, even physically, very hard to to, 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 to go down in the 10th, 11th round. Yeah. Yes. We are late in the evening here on the East Coast, 10 past 11 local time. The dew, which yeah. we've talked about, contributing the sweat you can see dripping the, off. You can see the dew on yeah. the yeah. surface of the ring. The cold, fresh air here in Sydney. Oh, vicious right hand of the body from Green. Very slippery. Yeah, you don't want to slip into it. Oh, Green hurts. Green yes. hurts. Yes. He was badly hurt there. He is clearly... He was clobbled by that there. one, dude. Yep. Oh. The question would now appear to be, can Mundine can finish hurt. it before the end of the 12th? It's a distinct possibility, I reckon. That would just add some ice into a very rich cake for him. Terry O'Connor says, protect get on. Protect yourself all the time. Yeah, protect yourself at all times, Kotcher. That's what it's all about. Mundine looking to unload on Green. Green tries the left hook off the ropes. Makes oh. Mundine making him miss. Oh, just glance with the right hand. Fires back. Green going to the body. Green is loading them up. Oh, he's Mundane's too good defensively. Fighting desperately here in round 11, Danny Green. He's the Don't ultimate Aussie head, warrior. Oh. Mundine, too sharp. Too smart, but Danny Green, the warrior he is, giving it everything he's got. Danny Green's slowing up, I can see it. Tired, very tired, stiff jab from Mundine, and again, look, Green hurt there again, I think, oh, tries his own right. Closing stages, number 11. Oh, Green, his legs aren't too good, I don't think. <laughs> Look, he's loading, he's look, Mundine looking for the big one. Oh, and Mundine lands oh, one with a second to go. Wow. He's sent on his way by Terry O'Connor, but he knows, like everyone else here, that he's just three minutes away. Yes, he's three. Yep. He hasn't been able to do very often. This might have been different. After six years, Danny Green is clinging to the hope that he can land one big shot. In the final round of what's been a war, and the respect there for the yeah. two fighters was terrific. Great, great, respect. great respect. Can Green land his shot?
you keep his dream alive or is Anthony Mundine back on the big, big stage, the world stage? Oh, lovely. Oh, first. Mundine loading up his shots here. Green. No, oh. Mundine uppercut. Tell okay, you what. Green's getting hit with everything here. Look at this. He's look, Mundine's looking to finish this, I'm telling you. Will Green go down? I don't think it will. You never know, but he's a tough guy. I, you don't think he will? Because you don't think his pride will let him? No, he's taken, he's taken some bombs. And he's still on his feet. And he's still clinging to hope, but it's fading rapidly. This has been Anthony Mundine's night. It has been an emphatic display. Anthony's just enjoying himself right now. Can you enjoy yourself out there, Costa? You can yes, do it now. <laughs> I had few fights when I did enjoy myself, even they went to 12 rounds. It was beautiful enjoyment because you know that you're doing a great job, you entertain people, it's, uh, and you have satis great satisfaction with what you do. I think Monday has decided to get on the bike a little bit. He knows he's a mile in front. The crowd booing, but why should they? I mean, it's been an emphatic display of boxing by the man. The only thing would be, is, does this give Green confidence to think he still fears me with this one shot? Halfway through number 12. The Green camp, the corner, is agitated now. There's a tremendous display by Anthony Mundin today. Greeny going the body, Mundin firing back. Oh, look Look at this. This is Green. the fight. Danny Green saying, come on, hit me more. It was billed as the biggest all Aussie battle since Lester Ellis and Barry, who sits alongside 21 years ago, and it's lived up to that lofty standard. It's matched the height. Oh. Mundine exhibition here. And still Green just keeps walking forward. Danny Green's taken so many right hands, it's not funny. I'll tell you what, not many fighters would still be standing after yeah. the amount of right hands they've taken. He's still looking for the big one, Danny Green. He's going to go out on his shield. But the seconds are far running out. 16 seconds to go, round 12. An emphatic victory to Anthony, Anthony Mundine on our scorecards, and we're sure the judges are going to see it the same way. It's, all, it's just about over. For six years, gentlemen, it's time to shake hands. Yep. Anthony Mundine is going to return to fight for a world title. Danny Green will be beaten, certainly not disgraced, but it's that man's night. The man has delivered everything he told us he would. He sure did. And now he can enjoy the celebrations. An emphatic display of boxing as people invade the ring here. Now there's a battalion of police and security guards have suddenly emerged here as we hopefully will avoid some chaotic scenes that we have obviously experienced in the past. Anthony Mundine is talking it up to us now. And he is telling us in no uncertain terms that he's taking on Mikel Kessler. What a night. <laughs> what a night. A great night. A great fight. It was a great fight. Danny Green did it, gave it everything he could. We're scoring at 119. 109. 109. 119. Oh, my. The question will be now how do the fighters get back to their change rooms? And let's hope that all is done with the similar order and ported so far to the Aussie Stadium staff here. Coda Nasa, the manager of Anthony Mundine there with Tony Mundine after a tumultuous month leading up to this fight. You can see a resigned look about Danny Green's expression here. It will be just the third fight of his career. It will be his first loss in a non-title belt. It would appear as though we're getting ready for a decision. Matthew Campbell, when you're ready, it's all yours. Ladies and gentlemen, Sorry? Yeah, I've got it. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for a magnificent fight. Well refereed by Terry O'Connor. And the judge's decision is in.
on the Falcon XR Ute scoreboard. The results are as follows. Judge Derek Millam from Australia has scored about 118 to 112. Judge Michael Lee from Korea has scored about 116 to 113. Judge Pinnett Prayanasar from Thailand has scored about 118, 111. The winner by a unanimous points decision from the blue corner, Anthony the man, That was never in doubt. And now he has on his hands a rematch against Mikel Kessler. Yes, he has silenced his critics. And what will happen?